Hi, this is Fred. In this video, I will demonstrate an ACAP call detection. It detects various objects and captures an image crop of that object. The scene I selected here for this ACAP might not be optimal because this ACAP is targeting more slow moving scenes. But anyway, I think it's good for the demo. So the ACAP has a user interface where you would typically do configuration and optimization and also do validation that it works correctly. This is not a user interface, it's a configuration page. So you see two checkboxes, automatic capture that will start that the web page will continuously do capturing by its own. You can turn that off. You can also include or decide if a cropped image should be included in the response because you may be using this for use cases that doesn't require the image but you want the location of the detected object. You can set the confidence level to something that compared to what you see in the detections to filter out someone. So we can go in here and just set, uh, yeah, we set 40. Then there is an area detection area, because there may be parts of the area that you don't want any detections at all. So you can adjust the uh, that area. You can also add if there's an ignore area within the area of interest, then that maybe the detection area is big, but you want to do that. But we just make it just make it remove and just remove it small like that. You can also set the minimum object size that the object needs to be bigger than that square. And you can also set the maximum size of the object. So anything that doesn't align to, to these rules will not be captured. So now we see a car coming in here within this area and it captures image. And you see on the right side, the result is a car with a score and the inference time is 75 milliseconds. That's how long it took. Okay, so here we have a person coming in and you see that it's there is good capturing and there is some uh, off uh, capturing there. And it also get the, the vehicle there. So the, the image that you see on the right side uh, is pixel mapped to the resolution of it, the camera, but it's only stretched and that's why it looks, uh, looks a little fuzzy. And this is a, a P3536, so it's a pretty high resolution camera, but the, and the captures that you get are the pixel map to the sensors, and it's not scaled. Uh, so the, the images on the web page are scaled uh, just to make it nice. So as you see also that here are all the object types. So the model's base on the detection is the Coco SSD, which has got around 70 different kinds of objects. So, and you can enable and disable uh, any of these object types. So how do you do, how does an, um, a client integrate? Well, as you see there, there's a URL, uh, IP address, local detect, detection and interface, uh, or inference, sorry. Uh, so every time I click refresh on this, uh, it does, an inference and it responds back. So it's actually the client that controls this. And here I have a node red flow with that same URL. And so I have a timer that just keeps sending a request every second. And then I have a filter right after the HTTP request that the, the, the length of the list, there needs to be some kind of a detection before sending out to the output. Otherwise, we'd probably get a lot of it. So here we see we got a capture and we got a list, one object. And here you can see that the timestamp and you get the list and the objects. So you get the X, Y, width and height coordinates based on the sensor size and the scores. And it was a car and an image. Thank you very much.